Guys, I know it sounds ghetto to you, but here's the thing. All of the food in the refrigerator is pretty much toast and no good anymore. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. So yesterday we were working on the Jeep brackets. They turned out really, really well. We're gonna leave those hanging up in the backyard. Gotta run into town this morning. Unfortunately, I'm really not interested in running and running and running, but we have to do it because today we're gonna be working on the saltwater aquarium system. We're gonna check all of our levels and everything on that in addition to install the hang on the back protein skimmer. That ought to be fun. Yeah. And guess what? I gotta get a haircut, guys. Check this crap out, man. Here in Texas, this is called a blanket, and it just ain't working. I'm like running up. I'm sweating. Imagine me. Yeah, you look terrible. Love you look you terrible. Too. So let's get the show on the road. We just ordered that part to like fix the fix the fridge. Maybe we should just get a new fridge. Yeah. No. 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 It wouldn't be Bubba's if we bought new fridges. <laughs> All right, guys, this is week six of the saltwater aquarium build. Right now, we're going to check all of our chemical balances and find out where we stand and what we learn from week five. Currently, we have a pH of 8.2. 8.2. Last week, we had a pH of 7.8. All we did was install the uh, hydro pumps. I think it took care of our problem. I think it took care of our pH problem. We're at 8.2. And in addition to, when I pulled the top off the saltwater aquarium so that we could play around with a protein skimmer that we're going to install right here on Bubba's garage today, there was no soot, there was no film across the top of that. Yes. So those circulation pumps might have actually solved that problem as well. I'm not sure. We're gonna address that here in a moment. Our ammonia, zero, same as it was last week. Our nitrite is zero, same as it was last week. And our nitrate. Drum roll, please. It's 10. It's 10. Same as it was last week. So, I think we're really getting close to cleaning this thing out, doing a cycle change on it again, and getting it ready for fish, but we're introducing a protein skimmer. Right, guys this is a reef octopus 1000 hang on the back protein skimmer now we don't think we need it right now but we're gonna go ahead and install it check it out make sure it works and then see where that takes us I think I got it installed correctly but we have to add a bunch of water to this thing and I don't want any overflow in the back of my aquarium so I'll put it on the side of the aquarium so that we can test it out and make sure that it's critiqued the way it needs to be before we put it in the back so I'm gonna leave it right here. We're gonna add pure RO water to the inlet here. Put top on, plug it in, and uh, pop its primer. See what happens. Crap just got real. We got to work on the refrigerator. We were in the middle of the saltwater aquarium stuff, working on that and installing the Reef Octopus uh, protein skimmer. Well, we got to stop. The part just came in the mail to work on the refrigerator and that's kind of like huge, top priority. Promise I'll come back to the protein skimmer, but I've got to supervise. This is a little guy that went bad. So, we are installing this other little guy. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Sorry guys, this is kind of important. Hi babe. Hi. 
That might be a problem. So what we're doing is we're taking out that little high temp thingamajigger and I'm putting in a new high temp thingamajigger in hopes that that little booger bear is gonna start to defrost. I think it fixed it, see? Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Don't you love me? <laughs> Not yet, babe! <laughs> we have fire in the fridge! I know that sounds a little awkward. Why would you have fire in your fridge? But here's the thing. As those coils get cold, what happens is you have a temperature sensor that's on those coals. So what happens is it triggers a heater to cut on for a certain amount of time so that it can melt a bunch of ice and while that wasn't happening, so guess what? The refrigerator wasn't working. And that's kind of like big priority. Guys, I know it sounds ghetto to you, but here's the thing. All of the food in the refrigerator is pretty much toast and no good anymore. So it was kind of important. And if it works, and it sounds like it does, babe, might have saved us two grand. And I really wanted a new fridge too. What's up, guys? I hope you guys had a fabulous day. It's been crazy busy right here in Bubba's Drive. Yeah, it has. Bobby fixed the what did? Yeah. The high temp thermostat in the freezer. That's what she did. She fixed it. Tonight is veggie night. We're gonna eat lots of food. We're talking about steaks. We're talking about pizzas. We're talking about ice cream. We're talking. I mean, you name it. We're gonna eat it, and we're gonna eat it because we don't want the food to waste. But Outside of that, it was a pretty decent, productive day. It's been actually really, 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 really busy. If you guys do not follow us on Facebook, please check that out at Facebook slash Bubba's Garage TV. And the reason I say that is because I found a really good deal today, and I posted it on Facebook, but I did not get an opportunity to share it in this vlog. Outside of that, we got to work on this little fella, the Reef Octopus 1000. The insulation went really well. It wasn't that bad, right? I mean... Yeah, it wasn't bad. Hey guys, don't follow the instructions. I what mean... instructions? No. It, literally, the instructions suck. It was a puzzle. We had to figure it out. It was like, this thing fits here. Yeah, I mean, for real. I, I mean... I saw you. Yeah, the instructions suck. If you like this video, please give us a huge, huge, huge thumbs up. Huge, huge thumb. Or two thumbs. Either way, whichever feels comfortable. Just pinch that like button. Just pinch that like button. Just pinch it. Pinch. <laughs> pinch. Or tickle it if you have to. Or yeah, absolutely. Tickle the like button, guys. Tickle the like button. So, in the end, we're wrapping up this vlog today, guys. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. We'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night. So, Bobby took the refrigerator apart, guys. Now, I kid you not, she ripped the whole refrigerator apart.